doesn't just remain a black frame. In fact, there's, I mean, there's so much context to that. Uh, and, you know, so you start imagining those stories. So, uh, you know, it's not just a black frame and it's not an interruption. It's, it is it is another story that is you know there is that's a parallel narrative that is developing so I mean, yeah about sound design and right. the black frame is exactly where you understand the the sequence of what is about to follow and it always ends with the visual the sound it starts with the sound and it ends with the visual of what it what the meaning of this would be so i don't understand i don't agree that this is not an accessible film I don't agree yeah. that oh, you know this film did not make sense. Uh, no, I think I it. it, it <laughs> made I'm a just lot really, really shocked to hear that. You but know, uh, but you know, I mean, also, but this film sh would need to be seen several times. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I you know, also and then it just sort of grows also on you. I, yeah. I, I guess you know, if you can understand Hindi, it's much easier to relate to the film, and and if you have to read the subtitles and also see the text, I think it takes a little bit away because I actually saw the film once without the subtitles and it 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 works much better the subtitles mm -hmm. tend to crowd things out in a sense and it's visually structured it's i mean when amitabh went to shoot the film it is almost a scripted film so it's not that the film is not designed mm -hmm. definitely it is abstract you cannot say that it's not abstract but that doesn't mean that the film is not designed he he it's almost scripted completely it's just that uh, like all documentaries a lot of changes did take place on the editing table ultimately. The black screen dates the film. So I'm assuming that in five years, if you look at this film, it will be locked in a time period. I don't think you could revisit the film in 20 years. Uh, whereas his paintings and the work, uh, I, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not a filmmaker, but it somehow feels uh, like a. Uh, it's already dated. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think black frame or yellow text or this kind of a structure. You know, we're, we're essentially a, a kind of a kind of a slideshow of text coming on to you, essentially, it, uh, which which uh, works in a different layer of narrative. I I don't think that's a dated kind of a style anyway. And and it would be dated if so many people were doing it that it goes out of fashion. You know. I don't think that is happening here. You know, I've been uh, following Amit's work, and I found that this was really uh, one of his. I mean, I personally really enjoyed this work. Uh, I I enjoy most of his work, but more than the others. So I I don't think this is dated uh, at all. The way you get into the artists, I mean, forget about Amit's filmmaking and abstraction, but how it leads you to the artist's work. And and to that mind space and how his lived space of his childhood, and everything else, you know, and how he looks at color, everything that I think is 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 important thing, right? And the film really takes you into that space. Actually, a you know a great uh, sort of a glossary to Ram Kumar's work, like he he has been, I mean. His, his work is prolific and if you see his work and if you see the movement of his work in fact uh, if any of you are interested right now there is an exhibition happening in Bombay uh, at the Jahangir Nikolson uh, gallery in the museum where there's just 20 paintings of his just his early work so basically it transits the movement when you know figures began to disappear from his early works it's just focusing on that and if you see this film, it actually sort of gives you a great, like sort of like a you know an entry into Ram Kumar's mind at that period. Like that line in the film where he's taken that that point where you know you hear the voices of Varanasi in Shimla, and actually when you s go back and now see the paintings, suddenly everything changes, and you know so it's it, what a film. And uh, so I'm well, well, ma. No, you see, uh, what the gentleman at the back was saying was that it picks him uh, to to know more about the stories and also about the painting. I'm sure. I'm sure if if you know if you are familiar with the work of Ram Kumar and or familiar with the work of Amitabh, it will be much easier to you for you to kind of get into the film. And this I discussion. I'm sorry. This discussion uh, uh, reminds me. 
that uh, he does have a brother and his brother is an author and I am familiar with his stories and they are somewhat similar. So I understand the film better now. Anybody else would like to make a comment because I can't take any questions. I, I have no answers. But yeah, you want to say something? Uh, yeah. About, about the black, you know, the plate the title he was saying, like it's outdated. It's a uh, well, in 1920s and 30s, 40s, they, there used to be a firm, and that's how they, you know, in many firms, they used to the narration they would, you know, so with the title giving a black plate because it was a form of narration and uh, I, I understand it's a different way of giving a narration to a film particularly. So, and this film really, I think, deserved this plate, the title, you know, the with the black background. If there wasn't this black, you know, plat, then there would be missing something because that's how you are like, it's it's asking you to read and understand because black, again, it's a, there's something between, there's some, in a black there's a life, that's what I understand. It's a life there and I mean, they did quite well. He understands better because he's the creator, first of all. He's a mother. So <laughs> that's what I understand. Well, uh, see, the title of the film itself uh, itself kind of leads you into what the film is going to be. So so red, which is typically, you know, psychologically and, and superficially understood as a very bright color, which is related with passion and valor and and he says that can also be sad. So it's it's actually a kind of uh, unlayering uh, a different than normal meaning in, in the words as well as in the images. Uh, the words that have been taken are not in any particular order. These are the words that fascinated Amidatta out of all his short stories. So he just picked out those, put them in an order, and then built the film around it. And, and uh, he, he said that he had tried black text on white frame. He had tried shooting it handwritten on uh, a notebook because um, some of his uh, notes are written on notebooks. And I think in, in one or two frames, you see those also, his, his memoirs and this, this notebook uh, from the 1960s or something like that. But he said that nothing actually, nothing really worked with my film for me. So this is the closest he could get. He himself was not completely satisfied with using this particular format, but he said this was the best I, I, I could do. 